God had to remind me, girl, you got that ball. Start squeezing it. Start squeezing it. Because I forgot because I was so caught up in I'm choking. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So today we went into hallelujah, we will worship. That was the first song. See, we got to remember to worship him. And we need to say hallelujah in the midst of it. Hallelujah. Even if we don't even see it being done yet. Hallelujah, God, I worship you because I know it's done. I know it's done. Hallelujah. Then they said, I will exalt you. And then she started singing, God is with me. See, you got to remember through it all, through the storms, through the tribulations, through anything that you walk through, God is with you. See, if you forget that part, then you get lost. That's when they talk about being lost in the wilderness. See, when people forget that God is with them, they get lost in the wilderness. Yeah. And then it's hard for them to come out of the wilderness. Yeah. Yeah. Because then they got to attach themselves back to God so God can bring them out of the wilderness. Yeah. And then she said, I will praise thee. <laughs> we should always have a praise in our mouth. <laughs> a praise in our mouth. Yeah. So again, and then the last song was, we will, we exalt thee. Hallelujah. Yeah. I'm so excited to be here today. Yeah. And we're going to do it a little bit different today. I'm going to bring my sister, my sister, um, Bridget up. Hallelujah. I told y'all I'm a little wobbly, so just bear with me. Facebook, I welcome you in to Righteous Foundation International Ministries. I welcome you. If you're not excited, I'm going to tell you to get excited. And if you ain't got no tea, go get your tea because, honey, you're going to need it today with what's getting ready to come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. She will do prayer, and then we will have Pastor Jane come up for scripture. Hallelujah. Father God, we thank you, oh God, for another day. We thank you for allowing us to come together one more time, oh God, to lift your name up, God. We give you the praise, the honor, and the glory, God, because this is all about you. God, we come to lift your name, to exalt the name that's above every name. Hallelujah. God, we here come to give you the praise, the honor, and the glory. So, Father, today, in the mighty name of Jesus, as the word go forth, oh God, I pray, oh God, Yes, for God. those who are watching on Facebook yes, and God. those that are in the sanctuary, that yes, you would touch God. their hearts, yes, oh God, yes, God. and they would see the word that's yes, coming God. forth, yes, God, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Let yes, them not be how they used to be, God. Yes, God. Let it fall on good ground, Father, yes, God. in the mighty yes, name of Jesus. Yes, so, Lord, we thank you, oh God. We thank you, oh God. We thank you for the opportunity to come to lift your name of God. We come, oh God. We bless you. We honor you. We praise you, God. There is nobody, yes. nobody, nobody like you, God. So we honor you to thank you for who you are. Yes. You are yes. Hell yes. Shaddai. Yes. You are more yes. than yes. God. Yes. You are yes. El Roy, the yes. God who sees yes. us. So yes. we Jesus. thank you, God. Thank we honor you, you and we bless Jesus. your name. Thank and it's in the matchless name of Jesus I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Our scripture will be coming from Psalm the 24th Psalm. Hallelujah. And it reads as follows The earth is the Lord, yes. and the fullness thereof, yes. and the world and they that dwell within. Yes. For he hath founded it upon the sea. Yes. and establish it upon the flood. Mm -hmm. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? So we're talking about, hallelujah, we worship you. Right. We're talking about, I will exalt you. Yes. Yes. We're talking about, we will exalt thee. Yes. And who better to exalt? Yes. Who better to worship? Yes. He who has clean hands yes. and a pure heart. Yes. Who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity, yes. nor swore deceitfully. Yes. He shall receive the blessings from the Lord Thank you. and the righteousness from the God of his salvation. Yes. Hallelujah. This is the generation of them that seek him. Yes. That seek thy faith, O Jacob. 
Peter out. So lift up your head, O ye gates, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors. And the King of glory shall come in. Who shall come in? The King of glory. The King of glory. Who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty and battle. Who is the King of glory? The Lord. The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty and battle. So lift up your head. O ye gates. Even lift them up, ye the everlasting doors. And who shall come in? The King of glory. Who shall come in? The King of glory. Well, who is the King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord strong and mighty. Yes, sir. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We serve an awesome God. Yes, we awesome God. Awesome God. Amen. 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 Yes. Lift up our hands, holy gates. Yes. Huh. Yeah. I'm going to challenge y'all on Facebook today because, see, we already welcomed the Lord in this yeah. house. So I'm going to challenge y'all on Facebook today because we're going to have our apostle get ready to come. And But the challenge is to just stand up for one moment and turn around and say, Holy Ghost, you are welcome in this house. To welcome him into your home, to welcome him into your presence, to welcome him in to do whatever he wants, that he has free recourse over everything that's going on in your home. See, we might not know what's going on in your home, but you know what's going on in it. So today, I'm going to challenge you to open up your windows, open up your door, and just say, Holy Ghost, have free recourse in here. You are welcome to walk through my house. And and whatever you find that is not of you, I'm asking you to remove it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, I also told y'all to have your tea. I'm going to tell y'all, y'all going to need something to dunk it with because when he comes, hallelujah, he going to step in. You're going to have to say ouch, so you're going to have to dip in the, um, the tea, okay, because it's going to be serious today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I give to y'all Apostle Manny Wooten. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Can't nobody do you like Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on now. We have entered into a temple to where the supernatural God resides in the name of Jesus. And we have, are expecting supernatural miracles. We are expecting healing in the name of Jesus. Yes. In the name of Jesus. I sense in the spirit that there is somebody that God is working on something is going on in their head. I don't know who it is. I don't know whether you're on Facebook or where you're here, but the, the supernatural God wants to heal something that's been hidden in your head that you are dealing with that had manifested itself now. I don't know if it's someone who had many strokes. I don't know if it's someone uh, 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 with something else. Going. I know some people here who got some things going on, but, 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 but God didn't point you out. But it doesn't mean that it's not you. Mm. 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 And someone in here need to make a decision. And you are present in here today. And the, and the supernatural God told me to tell you this. Don't make the decision until he speak to you. Mm. There's something about the name of Jesus. He said that it is expedient that I go away so that the comforter may come. So that, now why was the comfort to come? So that you could do greater work. So if Jesus spoke to the mountain, okay. you should be able to speak to the mountain. Yeah. If Jesus raised the dead, you should speak to the dead and they should get up. Yeah. And then I don't want you to shout, I just want you to catch this. Yeah. Because we are going through something that is going to take the supernatural miracle, the supernatural, the supreme one, the self-existing one to bring us out. Because Jesus it's gotten up off the throne and soon to come. Look at Israel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
That's why I say, can't nobody do you like Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. All right, you may be seated in the house. Uh, we thank God for the angels that's here. Amen. Amen. Now, an angel never shows up unless there's an assignment. Hmm. 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 So much going on in the world. Amen. Hallelujah. I want you, if you have your Bibles, I'm going to go a different direction, but God told me, you go and you do what I told you. I want you to go to Exodus 7 and 1. Then when we finish what we're going to read here, then we're going to go back to Exodus 6 and 13. We're going to backtrack, which is going to show you what he's saying in Exodus 7 and 1. So, and the Lord said to Moses, because what God said to Moses now, and God is saying that to some of y'all, but you're in the wrong place. You got to get to where you're serving God. See, God can't function in a supernatural way unless you're serving him and him only. Mm -hmm. You can't serve two masters and expect God to work a miracle for you. Mm -hmm. You can only serve the self-existing one and then it's his job to work it out for you. But sometimes we go through situations where it takes time because you must be processed. And processing is a painful thing. Yeah. We have it. He said, and the Lord said to Moses, see, mm -hmm. look, see Moses, I have made you like a God hmm. to Pharaoh. Did y'all catch what God said? Yeah. See, yeah, look, yeah. Mm -hmm. Moses, mm -hmm. I have made you mm -hmm. like a god mm -hmm. to your enemy. Mm -hmm. What am I saying? What are you saying, Apostle? See, men and women of God, God has made you when you are serving Him. He made you like a god to the enemy. That's why the enemy wants to distract you. Because the enemy already know that if you catch what God is saying and that if you are trusting God and if you are believing in God and if you are worshiping the self-existing one and if you are honoring a supreme God, you are like a God to him. Yeah. But I'm guilty. Sometimes we get wishy-washy. Yeah. And we forget whose we are mm -hmm. and whom we are. Yeah. We forget that God is our father yeah. and that Jesus is our elder brother. Mm -hmm. We forget as men and women of God that we, our assignment is to do greater works yeah. than what he did. Yeah. See, here's the problem. God created the heaven and the earth. In six days. Mm -hmm. But when you say when you hear the word but, something's gonna change. But he gave man dominion. Yeah, mm. he gave us power. Now, as long as you take dominion and you're going it and you are operating under the supreme God, everything works out for your good. Yeah. But when you take your dominion and you operate under the prince of the air, we got problems. Yeah, all the time. Don't you ever think that the enemy don't have power? Mm -hmm. That's the problem. And then we get, now, this is not English, but we get willy nilly. Willy nilly, willy nilly. The 
me go back to the word because somebody's going to hit me and tell me my English ain't up to Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> He said, I, see, I have made you like a God through favor, and your brother Aaron shall be your prophet. So if God, if God has made him like a God, when they know they need a mouthpiece. Yeah, he needs somebody Hello, prophets. God needs a mouthpiece down here. And he needs a mouthpiece to speak what does say the Lord. Not what does say somebody else. Not what does say you said. Not what does say the prince of the air. But the mouthpiece of the supreme one. Yes. Yes. You shall speak all that I command you and your brother. Every shall tell Pharaoh to let the people of Israel go out of the land. But I will harden Pharaoh's heart. I'm going to make sure that Pharaoh does not release the people. Mm. I am giving you instructions to obey me. Yeah. Do what I say. Yeah. Because at the end, I'm going to destroy Pharaoh because I'm going to harden his heart where pride will step in. And the word of God said, pride cometh before what? Yeah. Destruction. Yeah. Sometimes your situation Looks like it ain't going to come to an end because God is in it and God is hardening your enemy's heart. And your enemy cannot forgive you. Your enemy cannot let you go because God is hardening his heart. So don't you give up because God is setting him up for destruction. <laughs> let me leave that alone. <laughs> I will hide in Pharaoh's heart and through, and though I multiplied my signs and wonders in the land of Egypt, Pharaoh will not listen to you. Then I will lay my hands on Egypt and bring my hosts, my people, the children of Israel, out of the land of Egypt by an act of great judgment. You ain't going to do this. Your situation, you ain't going to change it. But I want you to trust me because I'm about to perform an act on your adversary of great judgment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, 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 I'm trying to lay some foundation for this because there's going to be a minute here, not today, but I'm trying to lay some foundation for this supernatural God. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Amen. Let me see you say. Moses, I'm, I'm at the sixth verse, that Moses and Aaron did so. They did just as the Lord commanded them. See, that's the key. Yeah, what God told them to do. They obey God. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, right. That's yeah. right. That is they obedience. Obey. Obedience. Exactly. And the Bible makes a profound statement about that word. He said it's better than sacrifice. Than sacrifice. Yeah, be it's better for you to obey me mm -hmm. than it is for you to cut off your leg. I just did that. I just, you know, now, now God didn't say that. I said that. Mm -hmm. So don't say that in scripture. It ain't. That's what Apostle Wooten said. It's better for you to obey God than to go say, chop off my foot. Because if you do that, you just got your foot cut off for nothing. <laughs> Here's the key. Moses was what? 80 years old and Aaron 83 years old. <laughs> okay, let's go back to uh, the sixth chapter. And I think I want to go to the 13th verse. <laughs> now, here's what the 13th verse said. But, huh? But the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron and gave them what? A charge about the people of Israel and, and, and about Pharaoh, king of Egypt, to bring the people out of the land of Egypt. God spoke to them before he got to the seventh chapter 
And he said, I'm speaking to you about bringing my people out of the land of Egypt. In other words, men and women of God, I'm speaking to you about bringing people out of what they're in. You can't do it. I got to do it. Be my mouth, peace prophets. Stop being fearful as long as you are speaking the article of God. Don't twist the word. Speak the word. Let me say that again. Don't twist the word. Speak the word. I believe that God is able to turn around one of the most dangerous things that's ripping, that's ripping them America, people of color, but not only people of color, but that, and that is a word called diabetes. Mm -hmm. We can't eat the things we love. <laughs> Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Serving, I'm going to give you maybe, I can't give them all seven to you, but I'm going to try to give you three reasons for serving a supernatural God and how you have to serve a supernatural God. See, I'm trying to get you to a point that you know who you are and whose you are. You see, you have the power. To tread over serpent. But you have the power when you are living with a supernatural God to speak to the leper. Yes, sir. Yes. You have the power to speak to the heart attack. Yes. Uh, yes. You have the power to speak to the stroke. Yes. You, got the power. you have the authority and the power to, to speak to what's going on on the inside of you. Yes. You have the authority that has been, been given to you by your elder brother and by the supreme one. Yes. You walk with his power. You walk with his authority. Yes. You walk in his feet. You stroll and you step, but you go in, but you go in with the hallelujah. I surrender, Lord. Hallelujah. I surrender, Lord. Hallelujah. I surrender. You cannot get God's power and authority unless you surrender to oh, him. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Come on, Apostle. Yeah, that's it. God is looking for some missing people. God know what you're going through. Amen. God know who hurt you. Jesus. Stop crying. Straighten your chest up and say, I, suppress, I serve the Supreme One. Yes. God, I release them into your hands right. and watch God break them down. Yes. Watch God vindicate you. He's the God of vindication. Yes. Yes. Been going through too many years of hell because you're trying to figure it out. Yes. Let the Supreme One surrender. You serve the one who created the heavens and the earth in six days. All you got to do is surrender to him. Yeah. It doesn't mean it's going to be over just like that. Mm -hmm. But if you stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, it will be over and it will be in your favor. Yes. My God. Number one, know your power source. Yeah, know your power source. Serving a supreme God. Know your power source. If you don't know who God is and don't know the power source, you can have a, a cell phone when it loses power. But if you don't have something to plug it into, you're done. Okay. You may want to listen. If you can't get that battery charged back up, you just pay in Sprint and T Mobile and all of them for nothing. Because they got you locked in a contract. And, when they, and, and listen, and if you ain't got no insurance on your phone, you got to buy a new phone. And now you mad. 
Let me get after this. Let me leave it alone. Let me leave it alone. Let me leave it alone. To start with, you must know God. You can't pretend you know him. You see, I know people that have asked Jesus to come into their life and save them, and they still don't know who he is. They did it because someone told them, you need to be saved. Well, what did I do to be, be saved? Ask Jesus into your heart and save you. Well, they forgot to tell him, you got to let him change you. You can't go back and do everything you were doing. Huh? I listened to a boy this week talking about Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And as soon as he in, inhaled and exhaled, blank, blank, blank. And it wasn't Jesus. But he knew God. That's what he said. God is his father. I love the Lord. How can you love someone and still abuse them? How can you love God and call his name in vain and do stupid stuff? Got quiet. Got quiet. Got quiet. Got quiet. Hey, 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 hey. It's okay. That doesn't mean you just know about him. Knowing him means having an re intimate relationship with him. It means he is first. He is the first thing you think about when you open your eyes? <laughs> he's the first thing you think about in the morning, and he's the last thing you think about before you go to sleep. <laughs> and listen to him every day and letting him talk through his written word. That means you got to read the scripture. Letting him talk through his really written word by his Holy Spirit is how you get to know him. You can holler, you say it all you want to, but if you don't, if you don't read his word, he can't talk to you. God will not talk to an unclean vessel. God, can I say this? God will not talk to an empty vessel. If you ain't full of the Holy Ghost, in the order to be full of the Holy Ghost, you got to be in his word. So if you ain't studying his word, you empty. It's time out for being a church goer. It's time out for trying to have 10,000 people and 950, I mean, nine, let's say 1,000 people and 950 is serving who they want to serve. Serving statues that cannot walk. 50 of them serving the true and living God. But you got 1,000 people. Or you got 10,000. And you only got 500 serving God. 9,500 doing their own thing. And you preaching to satisfy the 9,500. The 9, you, you ain't preaching to satisfy the 500. But can I say something to y'all? And I hope a pastor is watching me. God will anoint you because of the hunger of the few people that's in the building so that they can hear from him, but you are not anointed. He will anoint you for them. So if you are serving God and 9,500 is not, God has not forgotten you. See, the problem is that there's so much hurt and so much pain and so much disappointment. Sometimes the ones that hurt us look like they're going on with their life. But I'm going to tell you why they hurt you, because they're miserable. And they know how to camouflage their pain. You, you, you know, you're singing to the choir. I used to be that way. I could camouflage my pain. I could camouflage my hostility from certain people. I didn't do it from anointed people, because I got confronted. You come to really know the Lord by actively seeking him above everything else and recognizing that he is your supreme source. He is your supreme source. I want you to go 
Go with me to Matthew uh, 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 6 and 31. I said Matthew 6 and 31. Y'all got it? Amen? 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 Amen. It said, therefore, do not be anxious saying, what shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? For the Gentiles seek after all these things, and your heavenly Father knoweth that you need them. He said, but See the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness and all of these things that you anxious, that you have all this anxiety for and all of these things that you want shall be added unto you. 34 said, therefore do not be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Huh? What what is Jesus? What did Jesus say? I'm a supernatural God. Don't worry about today. Be anxious for for nothing. Because I'm the one that will supply all of your needs according to everything that I have, according to my riches and glory. I am the son of the Father. Of a cow, of a cow, of thousands, of cattle on a thousand hills, and the earth is here, and the fullness there, and everything in heaven and earth belong to me. Everything. So if you stay focused on me, if you recognize me as the supreme God, and you and you serve me, and you honor me, then I will give you the desires of your heart. Yeah. You can't take no break in because if you take a break, then you got to start all over. I'm in school. I took a test. Got about half through it. And got busy, clicked back on to take the test. They gave me the test, but it wasn't the same one I was looking at. I said, wait a minute. I said, Holy Ghost. You have to help me. Yeah. Because I had studied for the other one. But I got a distraction that caused me to click off to go take care of the situation that wasn't even important. So when I click back on, I asked my daughter, daughter, come. She said, Daddy, you just click, 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 click. She said, you don't understand what they say? You can't touch that one no more. Here go a new one. That's right. Wow. That's right. But how many know God is able to do it seating and abundant above all we ask? Because yeah. yeah. I had procrastinated and I didn't have about five more hours to take that test. Mm. Oh, no. And guess what? I took it. And the Holy Ghost bought that thing from 1990, 2000. Thank God for my spiritual mother. She taught us some of this stuff way back then. And the Holy Ghost began to stir my spirit and begin to bring it back up. And when it clicked, I said, bam! <laughs> Pass and score! Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I won't do that no more. I learned. <laughs> Them folks knew everything you're doing. Okay. They do. So they were not going to let me get halfway through 100 questions and come back. If you can't trick them, you can't trick God. <laughs> I tried to call her. my sister and say, hey, you know the answer to this. <laughs> <laughs> wow. 
Philippians 3 and 10 in the Amplified Bible says, For my determined purpose is that I may know that I may progressively become more deeply intimate and acquainted with him. And that I may in that same way come to know the power of his overflowing resurrection. That's the Amplified, Amplified Version. Okay. Let's shoot down to the second one. Be filled with the Spirit of God for greater works. That's your second reason you need the supernatural God. Be filled with the Spirit for greater works. Don't get into a position where somebody falls and has a heart attack and you don't know what to do. Be able to speak the word. I command you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you shall live. I command you to rise up. I command this heart attack be gone in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth by the authority of Jesus, by the authority of the Holy Ghost, by the authority of the great I am. The one that created the heart knoweth all about the heart. The one that created the foot knows every issue with the foot. But he gave man dominion. So you got doctors that make sometimes an accurate assumption. But when they cut you, they don't do the healing. No. Your body heals on its own. Yes. That's by the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes. That's by the power of the Supreme One. Yes. That's by the power of the one who had... Ah. Mm. That just dropped on me. Again. And I just saw you. 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 And y'all know I will stop if God says so. I just saw you. Tell your daughter, come here. I just saw you. Yes, I just saw you. The head thing. The head thing. That head thing. That head thing. You believe that there is a supernatural God. You believe with all your heart that he can heal every situation. Yes. You trust him. You love him. S say with me, say, God, if there's anything not of you. Forgive me. Cover it with your blood in the name of Jesus. Now, Father, in the name of Jesus, you heard her words. She trusts you. We command whatever is going on in the name of Jesus. We command it with the authority of Jesus Christ that she shall be made whole. She, she shall be married. She shall go through. She shall go through this situation. But when she come out, she shall be healed. When the doctors test her, they will not die. Mm. Mm. Yeshua. Yahweh. Heal her. The I am that I am. Touch her body. Come on, come on. Hurry, 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 hurry. Mm, mm. The healing power. 
Okay. Okay, that's good. Okay. Okay, she all right. Yes. Look at me. You got to go home. And every day, twice a day, read two healing scriptures. One in the morning, two in the two in the morning, two in the afternoon. And I'm not gonna say God gonna do this like that, which you can. But when you trust him, as he process you, when you come in, come out, you're going to be made whole. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody told you what you can't do. Yes, you can. Yes, Because God said you can. Yes. Don't ever think that your bow ass is not there. You see other children going to see, I know, you're young. Why can't I? Because God says so, you can't. There's something about you that's unique. You're smart, you're brilliant. And God wants to use that for his glory. Don't ever think the devil doesn't have power. Stay away from the witches. Ask God for the spirit of discernment through him because you've been around a witch mm -hmm. and you ought to know it and it's camouflage yeah. and it looked like it loved Jesus. It's a, mm -hmm. but it's a witch mm -hmm. and it's mad with your mama mm -hmm. for taking it out on you. That's why they can't find out where it came from. That's why they're saying, well, maybe this and maybe that. But you're going to be all right. Ask God how to recognize a witch. Ain't coming on no boom. Ain't got no big wide hat with long nose. He come dressed sometime in a robe. I had to stop because when I looked up, she was just, she was illuminated. I looked up. I'm trying to go. But God says, I want them to know that I'm supernatural. Start praying in the Holy Ghost. I need the prophets to be praying in the Holy Ghost. Let me go back up and read just a little bit. Then I'm, if God says so, I'm going to come back down. Two reasons. Number two, be filled with the spirit of greater work. John 14 and 10 said, Believe it. Thou not that I am the Father, and the Father is in me. The words that I speak to you, I speak not of myself, but the Father who dwelleth in me doeth the work. The words that I spoke to her is not of me, but it comes from the Father. And I speak the words that he put in my heart. There is a power struggle when it comes to the supreme God of people who are walking naturally and not supernaturally. That is a struggle because you say God is saying it because it comes to your mind and it's not coming from the heart. There's an old saying, a mind is a what? Terrible thing to waste. But the mind is the access to your heart. And Satan has access because there is an atmosphere that he is the ruler of. And sometimes your battle 
is so strong that you give up before God sends the archangel to fight the battle for you to win what you need to win. But you will never win if you give up before Micah or Gabriel show up. He said, verily, verily, what is he saying? Certainly, undeniable, unquestionable, unquestionable. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, he shall do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. 13 said, and whatever you shall ask in my name, I will do that. The Father may be glorified. Whatever you do, make sure the Father is glorified. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Greater works. Mm. 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 Can I say something to you? Don't try to deal with what you're going through. Put it in the hand. him because he has something greater for you. Each situation that you are in, he wants to bring you out of it. Because there's purpose in your life. You were created for purpose. And your purpose is to serve him that he might be glorified. for them. But when you tell him that, he knows that you're free. You heard what we said? He told Moses, I'm going to harden Pharaoh's heart. You go tell him what I said. I'm going to work all the plan. Well, he still doesn't let people go. Well, let me bring it to this day. I'm going to make him mad and madder and mad. I'm going to make him so mad too he's going to be crazy. And then I'm gonna put him in a position where he's gonna kill him, he's gonna destroy his own son because of his stubbornness. But if you notice, it was a process that didn't happen overnight. Mm. In the name of Jesus. Ah. Ah. Uh, uh, I, I can't finish that. <laughs> Mm. Number three, let me get this in here. Number three, believe. What did I say? Believe that God, that with God, all things are possible. Believe. If you don't believe, then it is not possible 
because you don't trust him, he said, believe that all things are possible. The fact is God has a purpose for your life that is exciting and above everything that you can imagine. God has purpose for your life and there's so much excitement in it. You can't even imagine it. But you're not living it. Why you don't trust the Supreme God? Things brings distraction. The last day, two days, my wife said something this morning we were leaving. She said, oh my God, so many distractions. Mm -hmm. Yes. The enemy doesn't want you to talk about a supreme God because somebody just may grab hold and start believing. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Don't want you to do it. I don't want you to talk about that because somebody may grab hold and start believing that he is the supreme one. That he is the great I am. That there is no other God besides him. Somebody just may grab hold. Is it you? Is it you? Or is it you? <laughs> you can, it's a anything, you can never, you cannot ever imagine what God has in store for you or what God is going to reveal to you without the Holy Spirit. You need the Holy Spirit. Because he's going to reveal what he has for you. He's going to reveal the purpose for you through the Holy Spirit. And all you have to do sometimes is speak the word. Speak the word. Prophet, you got to speak the word. You got to speak the word. I don't call a name of Prophet Wu. You got to speak the word. Then you got to teach the word. You may not feel, you may not feel you can do great things, <laughs> but you can just realize God never intended <laughs> you to do them on your own. <laughs> the great thing, God never intended for you to do them on your own. Shh. Help me out, Elder. <laughs> I done got thrown under the bus. <laughs> now I want y'all to catch this here. Men of God, women of God, God knows what he put in you and what he can do with what he put. In you, if you will only trust him. God has put an anointing with the mind dancing through this brother. That someone else has caught it and it has changed their life. Just think, if he was rebellious and didn't want to mind dance. Because he ain't getting no glory. See, he dancing, not him. Well, they're dancing so I can get the accolades. But because he's dancing for the glory of God, God is getting the glory and he don't even know it. Jesus. That's what you should be, the mouthpiece of God where He's getting the glory, and you don't even know it. You may not get an amen. You don't get too many amens when you're telling the truth. Truth brings on change. Look at your 
congressmen and senators. Look at them. They lying. The name of Jesus. God ain't in that. We put you in a position to help us, and it's all about you. You lied and said, I take an oath to serve the people. You ain't serving no people. You're trying to get what you can get. They serve themselves. That's it. Let me get out of that. Ephesians 3 and 20 said, He said, He says. He is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power that worketh not in him, but worketh in who? In us. Isaiah 41 and 11 said, I even, I am the Lord, and besides me, there is no other Savior. I am the great I am. I am that I am. And beside me, there is no other I am. But you have counterfeit God. Take a bird, a man will spend five years carving an animal out of wood to be a God. When God spoke the world into existing in six days and said, day seven, let me take a chill pill. I'm going to rest. I done did everything I need to do in six days. And here's a guy, here's a man or a woman, three or four of them, carving a bird, an elephant, a bear, and put him up after five years. And people start worshiping him. But he can't see he can't speak. No, he, can't he can't hear. You asking him this, he and he can't speak back to you and tell you. He can't even tell you he ain't gonna do it. That's the sad part. And then he went down and he said, "In prayer, he said, I have declared, and have saved, and have shown." When there was no stranger, no strange God among you, therefore ye are what my witnesses said the Lord that I am. I am is the supreme one, the everlasting one, the holy God, the God that you honor, the God that will answer your prayers. When it's time, he's a vindicating God. For those who have been stuck and stabbed in the back, he will vindicate you. Vindication is mine, saith the Lord. I'm your battle axe. Get you an axe. Don't do that. No, don't do that. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't gonna. <laughs> wow. Uh-uh-uh. Listen, giants didn't matter to David. Uh-uh. He wasn't intimidated. He was not did not fear because of giants. Because he had the greater one within him. He was focusing on the glory. He knew that I am with him. So giants did not matter to David. Well, I'll give you another one. <laughs> Floods did not matter to Noah. Because God of Noah obeyed God. God built, told Noah to build an ark. Everybody else thought he was crazy and laughed at him. Now, I want you to catch this. Then when the floods came, everybody wanted to get on the boat. <laughs> but now I'm going to show you the authority of the Supreme One mm-hmm. when you don't surrender mm-hmm. and you laugh at Him. Yeah, See, they were laughing at Moses. I mean, yeah. say, at Noah. They were laughing at God. Yeah. God shut the door. Mm-hmm. Right. Huh? 
You catch that? No, would have let him on because of his compassionate heart. But because they laughed at the supreme God, God shut the door. Well, if he shut the door, they're going to drown. Huh? Can I tell y'all something? Sometimes God can shut the door on your enemy. Don't go back and open the door. <laughs> because of your compassionate heart. And because of your concern. Don't go back and open that door. Huh? Because, see, the word woe can get you in trouble. Uh -huh. Woe is me. Uh -huh. oh, 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 woe is me. I ain't got nobody. I didn't have, I need you. You ain't got nobody because when you had somebody, you did them wrong. Okay. And God done shut the door. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Ain't nothing you can do about it. Hey, God done shut the door. Get out the way. Okay. So they can get drowned. <laughs> they can't get in your they can't get in and get on board your ark anymore. <laughs> See your ark is the ark of safety. <laughs> and because of how they did, God done shut the door. Yeah, that's it. Amen. God shut. Woo! <laughs> hey! Shut the door, Lord. Shut the door on my enemy. Shut the door on my enemy. Shut the door. y'all wonder, don't y'all laugh about this now. Age didn't matter to Abraham because God was with him. In that case, God opened a door. Understand this. God can shut a door, but he can also open doors that you think is impossible. Well, I'm going to give you a prime example. Apostle Wooten, mama was 38 and his daddy was 74. Mm, my God. And here I am, signed, sealed, delivered from you. Oh, oh. <laughs> so that means, <laughs> that means wow. I have purpose. Yeah, 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 yeah. For God to allow that to happen, yeah, that was, that I have purpose. Then I got two more behind me. But they don't have purpose. They doing them. See, sometimes you have to lay hands on folks. <laughs> let me say, he is still God. He's still the God of impossible. He is the God that still is with us. Hallelujah. He has a plan to do greater works through you. <laughs> Believe his word and be not afraid to act on it. If God said you'd head, believe. Be not afraid to act on it. If God said you heal, you heal. Be not afraid. Hmm. Mm. Go through this brain. Father, in the name of Jesus. Heal this pain. Mm. In the name of Jesus. The God that you love, if you trust him, he is able. Pain causes you to get frustrated. And you turn back on what you see because you're in pain. I'm guilty. 
with my feet. I mean, no, a posse had no, no, no problem with the feet in almost six, seven months. But when my dog started, my, my, my feet started hurting me. <laughs> For a second, I forget the promises of God. <laughs> and I go into the world with me. And I don't get no help. In the words of the wife, for the support the husband. But when I shoot the war with me, you can do something wrong. <laughs> Reason number five. Huh? I, I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Reason number four. I got five down below four, but I, I reversed them. <laughs> you did that. Attend to the work of God. When you're operating with a supernatural God, you will attend to his word. I feel you, okay? I see you in the spirit realm. You can be healed. You want you want that? I'm doing you. Yeah. Yeah, I see you. Hold on a second. Hold on right there. All right there. Stay right there. All that it takes is for you to trust God for everything. Amen. Proverbs, they say, lean. Huh? For me, you say, lean. Not. for that word not show up a lot, but not. Lean not into your own understanding. What I think, what I thought about, what I see, don't matter. But in everything, Acknowledge him, and he shall what? Direct the path. If he's going to direct your path, that means he'll send an angel to grab you by the hand and lead you to the promised land. Let me leave that alone. Yeah, I got to sit down. I got to sit down. Sit down. I got to sit down. Proverbs. Proverbs 4 and 20. Y'all got it? Huh? Amen. 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 Okay, you know what he meant here? 4 and 20. Oh, I'm about to say, I got Psalm 4 and 20. Okay, I'm going I'm to read this, then I promise you I ain't going no further. I'm going to leave the rest of the stuff alone until the next time. God said, 4 and 20, he said, my son, on my daughter, be attentive to my word. Incline your ear to my saying. If I say you heal, you heal. You heal. Yes. If I say you deliver, Amen. you deliver. Amen. 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 Incline your ear yes. to my word. Yes. Incline your ear to what I say. Don't listen to nobody else. If I say you're yes. free, yes. you're free. Hallelujah. Yes. If I say, I got you, I got you. <laughs> May not seem like it right then, but hold on. The old boy say, oh, you better hold on to God's unchanging hand. My mama used to sing that song. <laughs> and I used to tell her when I was young, ain't nothing change. <laughs> we still eating chicken wings. Ain't nothing change. <laughs> <laughs> Let, me <leave> that alone. <laughs> Let them not escape from your sight. Keep them within your heart. That's 20 when he said, For they are life to those who find them, healing to their heart, to their flesh. Keep your heart with vigilance, for, for from it flows the springs of life. Put away from your crooked speech. 
Stop complaining. Your complaints are crooked. Solomon was a man of wisdom. Put away. No, 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 I ain't going, I ain't going. Okay, go ahead, I hear you. I went, I'm going back to a couple of things from last Sunday to, to tie this in together. He says, I am that I am. He was operating when he was talking to Moses as Yahweh, which means the Lord from the Hebrew, the verb means to exist. I'm the self-existing one. See, God is specific when he's operating. He says what? I'm a Donny out here. He says what? Lord Master. He said, I'm Jehovah Rapha. He says what? The Lord our shepherd. God is persistent in what he said. Jehovah Sikhanu, I'm your Lord. You are my righteousness. God is specific in what he said. When God moves, he moves in a specific way. Because when God is specific, he wants to bless you. Now, meanwhile, while he's blessing you, the person that's been gone, he may harden their heart and they may hate you. It ain't got nothing to do with you. Know who you are and whose you are. Let me get back up here. Let me say, let me, let me say a couple more things and I'm coming. You say, you are to worship the supernatural God. You got to believe in supernatural ability. You got to believe that he's a supernatural being. You got to give him the highest praise. You got to give him the glory. You got to focus on his glory. You got to do it all for the glory of the Lord. You cannot be distracted. Thus, said the Lord. Now, the Facebook out there, if you're there, we just want to tell you that we love you and that here we are serving a supernatural God with supernatural ability. And we want you to serve the same God to solve some of the things that you call problems that he call opportunities. Sometimes your problem is God's opportunity to show you that he's the supernatural God. Well, what do you say, Apostle? Remember, Moses had to flee Egypt, went through the desert, herded sheep, not, not yet sheep, for Jethro, married Jethro's daughter. Then God spoke to him, and he went up on the other side of the mountain to see who was over there making noise. And when he got there, God gave him specific instructions. But when he got the instructions, because there was such a fearful heart, he questioned God. Mm -hmm. What are you saying, Apostle? Don't be like Moses. Don't question God. God has someone in here that will help you get through it. Somebody has been already been through what you are going through. You ain't the first one been cheated on. Mm -hmm. If your husband cheating on you, your wife, you ain't the first one. You ain't the first one that's been disrespected. They disrespected Jesus. He lived for what? 33 years. Working miracles. You remember I told y'all something last week. John said in prison, they get ready to chop his head off. John is concerned about, is Jesus the one? So John sends two disciples to ask, are you the one? Now, catch this word. Uh, should we expect another? 
you're going to be out here in the morning. They're going to cut your head off. But he's still speaking the fruit for articles of God. Should we expect another? Well, seemed like the priest would have ran and talked to him. But he did. He said, go back and tell John. The blind see, the lame walk, the leprous are healed. He just spoke the word from a distance. You remember the centurion soldier? He was the devil himself. But his servant was sick. And he went to Jesus. He said, Jesus, you don't have to go to him. Just speak, and it shall be done. Because you are Lord. Just speak. A lot of times our problem is, if Jesus is our elder brother, and we have the authority and walking in the Holy Ghost, we complain instead of speaking the word. Facebook, speak the word on your situation. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. If you want to be a blessing to the church, uh, 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 go to righteousfoundation.org, click on donate, uh, go to uh, Cash App, Cash App, dollar sign, R-L-I-M-3, dollar sign, R-L-I-M-3. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your blessing will be received and a spiritual blessing will come back to you in the name of Jesus. We pray for you right now in the name of Jesus, whatever the need of whoever's watching. Father, we decree, we touch and agree with them. You said when two or three are gathered in your name, you are in the midst. Father, we are gathered in more than two or three. We speak the word over them in the name of Jesus. Healing, blessings, breakthrough, deliverance in the name of Jesus. God bless you until next time. Amen.